Okay, in this video here, you've purchased a staple on seat cover from Guts Racing. We picked one of the hardest ones to install to demonstrate, and we're also going to do a two for one video on this particular model. This is a 2020 Yamaha 450 seat. They're a little more unique than most brands, so that's why we chose this one for this video. So we're going to start out with a foam installation. So if you took your stock cover off and your stock foam is loose and needs to be re-glued, or you've purchased a new foam from us or another company, the first thing you'll want to do is glue your foam down correctly on this model. This guy here has these rails that go around the edge of the foam. So I already glued the front. I sprayed glue up under here, around the edges, and on the back. To speed up the video, I pre-glued it so that way the glue had time to sit. Most glues take about 15 minutes to set before the installation. So now we have the glue installed on the base, on the nose and the tail of it. You do not need to glue through the middle. You'll see your stock foam was glued very lightly around the edges to begin with. So now we'll get to installing the foam. First thing I do is I hold the back of it up so the glues don't touch back there. And on this model, I start in, this, in a corner and then I go to this edge and I put a nice pressure to where the glue seals tight. And then I kind of stretch the foam around to the other side. And like I said, this model, we picked it because it's tricky. So you have to kind of stretch the foam as you work around or it won't get up and over its lip like it needs to. And then in the back, I just line up the grooves of the, of the foam, kind of stretch it around as needed to get it to fit right in its grooves. So now that our foam is attached, and like I said, you don't need to glue in the middle here. This is not necessary because once the cover's on, the foam's not going to go anywhere. So now let's get into the cover installation. And on this particular model, if you have the Yamaha, you know it has the gas cap cover here. So that's why this seat foam or seat cover is so hard to install. The first thing you notice is the sewing edge here. Your cover is going to show up where it's already pre-folded in for you, but I wanted to show it to you because you you want to try to get this fold to the inside of your seat, the underneath of your seat foam and base. So what I'm doing is I take my fingers and I reach up in here just to make sure that my fold is going to fold inside of the seat. So now what I'm going to do is turn it over. I'm just going to tack right there. Just put a couple staples. Now normally every other brand I would just go ahead and jump to the rear. But because this one has these ears or points or whatever you want to call them up here in the front, I'm going to go ahead and put a couple extra staples. I'm going to put one right in the transition on each side. And we might have to come back at the end and, a, and uh, work on that area just a little bit because it is so unique. Now I'm going to go to the rear of the seat. I like to turn it inside out and put my thumbs, so you can't see it, but my thumbs are like this against that seam. And then I like to use that to help me push up and over the edge. And it just rolls right around. So that way it controls that sewing seam like I was talking about to where it's up to the inside of your plastic base. I just do two staples. We have a good canopy. We're going to go right to the middle of the seat now. This one's a little trickier. It's got those fingers underneath, but I still do the same thing. I like to get my knee in the middle so it can't twist side to side. I'll roll it under right about where those fingers are at. Two staples. 
come around to this side, right about where those fingers are at. Two staples. And now I'll just sit here and kind of work at the, the loose, wrinkly areas. Just kind of hold with one hand, kind of roll it with the other hand, just kind of keep massaging it around. So I feel comfortable with how the feel is. Once I feel comfortable with the, the way it's rolling over the edge of the seat, and I can see it's not pulling the other side too far. Two more staples. Same process, I just keep kind of massaging the fabric around to the side. more in now. We're at that stage where we can start closing up the gaps. Now we're going to get up to the front here where it's a little trickier. I want to get it nice and tight. A couple staples. And you can see I have all this loose stuff here, but I'm not worried about it. It's nothing to be concerned about yet. of these seats are is your friends can't see the underneath of the seat but they can see the top so let's get the, let's worry about the top and make sure it looks good before we worry about what the underneath of your seat looks like so now I'm going to start working back here more in the back of the seat to get these wrinkles out this model here you cannot remove the bracket so it's a little tricky you have to be able to work your staples around the bracket so what I'm going to do is I'm going to staple this spot first so I pull it around and with my fingertip, I push it in nice and tight, right into the valley of the seat base. And then I staple, and I'll just go ahead and work my way to my other staples. And then I'll repeat the same step on the other side. Pull it down into that valley nice and tight. Now I'm kind of eyeballing the back, make sure we're square still. Start working these wrinkles out. And the whole time I'm pulling it this way, you can use the seat base to your leverage, or to your advantage. You have leverage there, and you can see how I can just roll my fingertips with the grip to pull it down underneath. But now, I mean, we're pretty solid here. There's no more wrinkles at all. So I'll finish up all the back edge here. Okay, so we look good there. Now it's time to come back and get this little problem area. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold one fold there, one fold on this side, and now I'm actually going to remove that previous staple that I put in there. So now I'm going to remove this one that I put earlier just to hold it. And it looks like I need to remove that one. I just barely clipped the under fabric. So, but what we're trying to do here is get the two pieces where they fold nice over themselves. So when you're looking at it from the outside, you have this nice point that's gonna match up to your gas cap cover. And like I said, don't worry about what it looks like under here. No one can see that, and it doesn't change the function of the seat. So I got a nice fold, I'm pinching it, under, keeping it nice, some nice pressure, and I fold it down, and then I'm gonna put two like that, just to give it a nice fold. So when it's up against your bike, it's that nice sharp point like stock had. Go to the other side, remove this one again. Just make sure I have plenty of fabric there to get a nice, nice hold on it. Put 
two like that. So yeah, right here it doesn't look very appealing, but right there it looks really nice. It has that nice sharp point. It's going to match up to your gas cap cover nice. It's going to match up to your gas tank and your shrouds just the way it should. Now on this particular cover, since it doesn't use elastic or Velcro on it, you'll need to come back with some scissors and just trim off this extra material if you choose. You don't have to, and we do recommend scissors only. Do not use a razor knife. If you use a knife and score the plastic, your base will cr eventually crack and break apart. Thank you for your purchase of your staple on C cover from Guts Racing.